How's it going everybody? Welcome back to set six and today we've got another one of those little developer comments. Yes we do, but we've also got a little something else. Let's just say suspicions are building. That's all I'm going to say. Suspicions and expectations and hype are building. Don't forget to do all the things like subscribe, tell people, you know, you, you know what to do, you know what to do by now, but let's crack on with it. So today's developer comment is, it's a bit of a nothing developer comment, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, the question is, will Final Fantasy VII Rebirth have new original music? And I mean, straight off the bat, that question obviously has a simple yes as the answer. Well, let's be let's be honest, of course it's going to have new original music. Unless it means new tracks that weren't in the original game, potentially, but again, obviously it's going to have new music. Uh, and this question was put to the music supervisor, Keiji Kawamura, uh, and they responded, Many new tracks have been created for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and we will be making some new arrangements of tracks from Final Fantasy VII Remake as well. So, like I say, a bit of a nothing question and answer. These are things that we already expected. There was obviously going to be some tracks from the original game from Remake that were going to be you know, tweaked and adapted so that they fit into Rebirth and we get a fresh version of them while it's still being very similar. I would expect the Genova music is probably going to make a reappearance. One Winged Angels, obviously going to make a reappearance. Uh, and some of the more generic music that we got in general. I don't think any of the location-specific music will pop up unless we end up getting scenes back in Midgar. Maybe we do have some stuff going on back in Midgar. Maybe there's a guy wandering around who shouldn't be alive anymore, wandering around in Midgar. Mm, interesting. Interesting. But yeah, that's about it as far as the developer comment goes. Pretty obvious, yes, there is going to be music in the game. Some of it will be new. Not really much more to say about this, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, but then we'll move on to the next thing, which is a little bit of a sus behaviour that's going on. So, not long after this post went up, I was I, I just literally clicked on the FF7 Remake Twitter account and noticed that the banner image from the page was gone. And at first I'm thinking, oh, someone's forgot to update it, or they've updated it to something wrong, and, you know, you, you know something's gone wrong, basically, uh, and someone's probably going to come along and fix it in the very near future. But then I went and looked at the Facebook page as well, and the Facebook page is also missing a banner. Now, I've not looked at any other... Final Fantasy 7 media accounts. I'm sure there are others like Instagram maybe or stuff like that. Uh, but I would guess the same thing has probably gone on there. The banner has been taken down. And the question is, why has the banner been taken down? And if you think back to one of the earlier development comments where they were saying that they're looking at nailing down a release date, maybe at Summer Games Fest we get a trailer, we get an actual solid release date, and then the banner gets updated. I'm reaching again, I know. The clown music started picking up again. I, I am definitely reaching when it comes to this. But there's a lot of sus behaviour going on at the minute around the Final Fantasy VII remake accounts. These daily posts building up to the seventh one being on the day of Summer Games Fest. Now we've got banners disappearing, waiting for a replacement banner that they're not quite ready to release yet. Uh, and the fact that they, they know what they're doing. The fact that they've done this a day early, they've taken this off. Because I would assume tomorrow is when we're going to see the replacement banner go up. They know what they're doing. They don't need to change that until tomorrow, but they've chosen to do it today. Just to kind of stir up a little bit of hype. So yeah, the, these boys, they know what they're doing. They 100% know what they're doing. They know that they've got us wrapped around their little fingers. And it just boosts the expectation that something's going to be at Summer Games Fest. I think a solid 90% of the Final Fantasy VII content creators are kind of all on the same kind of bandwidth here. We're expecting something. There are some people that are being pessimistic about it, and I applaud those people because they're the people that won't be disappointed. That's what they are. They are the intelligent people who will not be disappointed when we get nothing. Me, on the other hand, clown makeup at the redder. Like, a hundred percent. I'm... They've got to, right? They've got to. But I will say one thing. I kind of see why they haven't, because Final Fantasy XVI's hype cycle's been going on for X amount of time. They have literally posted a couple of pictures with pretty nothing question and answers on them. Like, there's not much in these question and answers. There's minimal amounts of information. And look at us all. Just look at us all. So, yeah, they're, they're, it makes sense that they've not touched this for most of FF16's 
hype cycle. Like, FF16's hype cycle is done now. We've seen the launch trailer. The only thing there is, is to get the demo and then the game. That's it. That's all there is. So, yeah. It looks like 7 is starting to ramp up its activity. Whether or not this means we get something at Summer Games Fest tomorrow, I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic. I'm a fool. What do you think? Let me know. Have you got the clown wig out? Have you got the red nose on? Are, are you in? Are you ready for some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth disappointment tomorrow? I, I mean, trailer tomorrow? Yeah, trailer, not disappointment. Trailer. Or are you, like I say, one of the intelligent people who's remaining calm and reserved and will be happy if we see something, but you're not too invested in it? Let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think about the game having music. Obviously. Like the video, subscribe for future content, but more importantly than anything, have a great day.